Welcome to this National Trust prelude. In a moment the current episode will begin. However, just to uh, tell you that this episode may be a, a little bit short. Now there is a reason why some episodes may be appearing to be short. This could be that they're in the National Trust manual, the manual that I call the National Trust Bible, because it has every location available to you as a member and in all there should be over 500 places that I can go and visit. Now my aim as you know with this series is to try and go around 500 plus venues. Now some of these venues such as the uh, Badbury Hill um, is not really suitable for scooters and uh, possibly not even for wheelchairs. Uh, it is a basically it's a it's a countryside wood, and unless you're mobile and you're able to walk around, it's probably not a venue that you're going to enjoy very much. Now, where you have a um, a venue with a very short uh, info piece, there is a chance that. The venue is going to be inaccessible and possibly a little bit unappealing to people with less mobility because it is designed um, for walking and there are circular walks that you can do uh, over rough terrain. But the caveat is that they, they appear in the book so I have to make an attempt to go to them. Now there are occasions when they appear in the book um, however the opening time of them is very specific for example the head office in Swindon is only available 1.30 p.m. on a Friday and there are other ones in the book which specify that you need to go on a certain day of the year uh, and you need to have permission from the tenant in writing so you have to write to them uh, ahead of time so you can't just pop in some, some venues are only open on specific times of the day and the year. So for example, they might be open Tuesday and Wednesday between June and July and that is it. Anyway, just to, um, I thought I'd tell you about that just in case you're wondering why this video or other videos like this are pretty short. Anyway, enjoy the video that's coming up right now. Right, so here we are in Ashworth. I hope that's how you pronounce it, because it could be like the um, Irish names, I don't know, Ashworth. Anyway, we're here, and it's a Tire the Barn National Trust pro property. Now, the feature, this is um, 15th century, I believe, and... Uh, Accessibility wise, I've not bothered with the scooter because, uh, you yeah, know, tides of arms tend to be inaccessible anyway. But so this is the um, feature of this is the, the roof, apparently. But the um, it appears to be. It's a typical Thais barn. There's some uh, information here. Fifteenth century, along with the ancient church of St Andrews. Tithe barn was built as a double barn. And uh, 
this uh, northern end is it's kind of used by the tenant farmer and a tithe was with the tenth part of a former farmer's produce paid by tenants to the church as a tax very typically barn like we um You could probably get a wheelchair coming there. Let's just pop up. There's the um, church next door. And church over there, and this is the tide barn. So, there we go, that's the tide barn. Actual worth. I hope that's how, I hope that's how you say it. Actual worth. And um, we're up in near uh, Gloucester. Not ideal for the stable, but beautiful nonetheless. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a like, and a share. And I'll catch you again for another one very soon. Bye for now.